Rust is coming to the Linux kernel, and Linus Torvalds has said that it will be debuting in the 6.1 kernel release. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the 6.0 release that just dropped with all sorts of new hardware driver support. And so Linus has made this message in the Linux kernel mailing list. Hopefully it's clear to everybody the major version number change is more about running out of fingers and toes than it is about any big fundamental changes. So we're not getting something extremely important added to this Linux kernel 6.0, but there are a lot of various changes. We've got over 15,000 non-merge commits. And after all, as such, 6.0 is one of the bigger releases, at least in the number of commits that has been done in a while. The short log is below and we get a little bit of everything, although the diff stat is dominated by the DRM, which is mostly a new chip support and networking drivers. Some things not mentioned in this message. There is early support for the Lenovo ThinkPad X13S series, which is an ARM laptop. There's also PCI support for open risk architecture, updated AMD temp monitoring that's going to be coming for new AMD CPUs and lots of other things coming for processors. But when it comes down to graphics, we do now see some support for Raspberry Pi V3D kernel driver support, and that's for the Pi 4. And another thing that's exciting for me is the Meteor Lake graphics driver support coming up. They've just started working on this and very early work for the Intel Ponte Vecchio. Anyways, with all that being said, this is great to hear for the Linux 6.0 kernel, but let's actually talk about Rust in the kernel. That's right, that's being pulled in as well coming in as recently as 6.1. So the next release that we get from the kernel maintainers should have some fundamental Rust support. And that's spelled out to this message to Linus about introducing Rust into the mainline kernel. It says it has fundamentally been Linux next for a year and a half at this point. It's been updated based on feedback from the kernel maintainers summit and has gained recent review by tags. Miguel is the primary maintainer and has helped keys here. The plan is for the tree to switch to the standard non-rebasing practice once the initial infrastructure series lands. The contents are absolute minimum to get Rust code building in the kernel with many more interfaces and drivers on the way. So what does this mean for us? Well, Linux, 6.1 plans on introducing Rust into the kernel or at least be able to use it in the said kernel. And what's actually making it in to Linux? Well, that's really some basic infrastructure code. So this code is going to exist to allow maintainers and developers to actually push code that will allow for Rust driver code to be added among C code so you can pick and choose your desired language or where you're comfortable programming. This will allow many Rust developers to start exploring the Linux kernel and developing with Rust in hopefully a maintained and structured way. That's one of the top challenges here is maintaining two different code bases. And this has been tried in the past with such things as C++ in the Linux kernel and has actually been canned since it didn't go over so well with, with Linus, but hopefully Rust will be a different story and we'll see future development in it. So basically this infrastructure that they're creating is what I believe Linus's way of figuring out whether Rust is worth it or worthwhile to be added and fully supported in future versions of the Linux kernel. So you may be asking, by using Rust in the Linux kernel, what is the hope or features that we get using Rust? Well, let's talk about them here. One is hopefully reduced memory management, and that's because Rust is a memory safe language, which allows you to basically have to debug less and run into things like race conditions. Number two, drivers could be easier to write, and this is purely because it introduces new developers who can actually write in another language, such as Rust, adding even more people who can maintain and develop for the kernel. 
Rust is also a modern language, which is definitely gaining in popularity, and again, can simply get more devs involved with really a fresh start. And one important thing that we'll have to make sure to take into consideration is having great docs for all the development in Rust. This is part of what will make or break whether or not Rust lives inside the kernel in the future or grand scheme of things. It's very important that we all follow the same structure while programming in Rust and have a great understanding of how it needs to be written and maintained in order to write great code for the kernel, which is a requirement whenever writing low level drivers for particular hardware. I'm really excited to see if this makes writing drivers easier with some modern language features and an extraordinary packaging system that the Rust language also boasts. And at the end of the day, even if it all goes well, this does not mean Rust will be able to be written anywhere in the kernel. Instead, this will most likely be up to the individual kernel maintainers and their various different subsystems. So if we have subsystem one, two, three, four, and so on, so forth. So we can think of stuff like graphics, sound, memory, networking, and so on, so forth. Well, these maintainers here, we'll call them M1, M2, M3, and M4, and then M, N. All will have the choice of whether or not to be actually using Rust in their specific subsystems meaning those who do not want to support another language for their specific project or portion of the kernel won't necessarily have to. Again, kernel 6.1 will be introducing infrastructure for Rust to exist in the Linux kernel. Super exciting for those of you who have been messing around with Rust, learning it, and want to help in open source development as the Linux kernel is one of the biggest if not the biggest open source project. And what else is exciting is that there's an NVMe driver implementation that was written in Rust that shows you how the performance level is on par with, nonetheless, the C programming language. And I have a video about that as well if you wanna check it out. And you've made it this far, I'll post a link in the description below and check up above for the video listing. Let me know what you think about Rust in the Linux kernel. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so below for more of these videos, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.